Uh, okay guys, I am currently recording frequency sweep. Currently Dolby off. Uh, here what we get in it's a type one tape. I'm gonna tell that I don't need to touch anything, so all settings looks to be fine. A little like one decibel up on 16 kilohertz, and then like drops on 20 kilohertz minus 3 decibel. Perfect results for type 1 tape. Now let's do Dolby B. Uh, let's see how it will change. Before it was a gap right here it was going down significantly like five decibel with Dolby B and C okay now we have like one decibel one decibel is almost not possible to hear okay Dolby B looks to be working fine limits on 17 18 kilohertz good and now switching Dolby C and let's see what we will get with Dolby C. I believe with one, with one decibel I can leave. Uh, <laughs> let me see what we will get. Um, it's definitely flattened up. It's about two decibel lower on high frequencies, and then it goes up and then and down. Okay, let me zoom in a little bit. Okay, uh, we see it's five decibel, so we have two decibel lower now okay let me try a different tape let's do for example metal let's me calibrate right here so Cordian. So it's a level. We need to reduce level. Okay. And now bias. 10 kilohertz. I need to reduce bias a little bit. Okay. Fine. Let me see what we get here now. It's Dolby off. Let's start from the beginning. Let me see. Still two decibel, kind of too much. I have seen like results much better. But at this age, probably there is nothing left to replace. So, no Dolby, it performs pretty fine. Let's now Dolby C.
Okay, a little drop. Let me see if I can compensate this. Oh, it's a huge drop. It's kind of like four decibels. <laughs> Let me see if I can compensate using bias. Uh, we will reduce bias a little bit. Let me see what we will get with reducing bias. If it will flatten up. We can check here. Yeah, it just flattened up, so we'll see. No Dolby. Oh, it's it's <laughs> level. I see oh, why. <laughs> okay, let's let's try again. Four hundred gears. We have level ten kilohertz. We need to reduce bias. Okay, like that. Uh, and turn on Dolby. You see, it's dropped by two decibel. So if you will tune up bias. Uh, with, with Dolby, then it should be good. And that's uh, only because uh, uh, Akai is using a full bypass for Dolby chips. So you see, now it's flat. Now it gets a little bit up <laughs> at 16 kilohertz. Uh, this should sound nice. Okay, let me see if we will use calibration mode. In this case, you see bias shows like that. So, with Dolby C, I have to use plus two decibel. Like that, to have a flat response. Okay. Good, at least it's possible to use Dolby C properly. I will do sound test now and if everything is fine I will close the deck and it will work with brand new capacitors. There was a couple uh, bipolar uh, here, here, here and this guy and these guys. Uh, and there were bipolar here on the board. So I wonder if they look almost the same, same color, they don't have polarity. Um, okay, let's see how it will perform. Thanks for your time. I hope you like it. Uh, now you know like uh, how to disassemble, like remove the back panel. Remove the front panel, unscrew these uh, nuts, uh, remove the couple screws, uh, disconnect these connectors on top, and then like one, two, three, four, five screws, and you will be able to pull this board and work on it. So. That is not too complicated, but requires some efforts to do it. Thank you. See you in the next part.